Is this video recording? You know what, man? I don't know how that just happened. But I'm going to keep it in the video. I do wear glasses, so don't be mistaken that I don't. What a great introduction. I don't know how that happened. Maybe it's the paranormal stuff going on in my house again. Um, anyway... What is up? My name is Fitz, and thank you for clicking on the video. I appreciate it so much, your viewership. Pro Wrestling, as the title suggests, or says, not suggests, it says that it is my passion, and without a doubt, it's my biggest passion in life, man. Ever since I was a little kid, I've been obsessed with this sport, and yes, it is a sport. But before I get into this video a little bit more in depth, in depth, I do want to point out three things. One, I'm sorry about the lighting. I am using the natural light here. The lighting isn't the issue, but my camera's focus is messed up and it, it keeps changing to like purple and gray, the background colors. I don't see it doing it right now, but I know it will probably, there it goes. I think it just did it. I, if it, if I go purple, I promise you I'm not Barney in disguise or anything. I am a ginger and I, I mean, I do have orange reddish hair. I, I'm not Barney, though. I promise. Nothing against Barney or people who love Barney, but I, myself, am not Barney. So I apologize if I turn purple. The second thing I want to bring up is actually some sad news that I woke up to this morning. The Dynamite Kid has unfortunately passed away at, his, at the age of 60 on his birthday. I can't really remember the last time a celebrity has passed away on their birthday. I know it most likely has happened. I just, I can't think of any. I know some celebrities have died relatively close to their birthday. You know, a few days after, a few days before David Bowie comes to mind. But on, on their birthday, that's that, that sucks. It really does suck. He was 60 years old. And I know some people are going to focus on his personal life instead of his wrestling career. I'm about to say a name here and do not freak out, but it's just like Chris Benoit where people focused on what he did in his personal life, but him as a wrestler, phenomenal wrestler. And Dynamite Kid, I'm not saying is nearly as worse as Chris Benoit. I, I really don't know what he did, um, but I apologize for not knowing. But him as a wrestler, you can't take that away from him, man. You can't deny his wrestling ability and if for the record, if anybody has any matches that they would recommend for me to watch, please leave them in the comments below. Even if you see this video a year from now, please leave your recommendations below. I appreciate it. I I actually haven't watched much of the Dynamite Kid. I just know he was one of the best wrestlers from the 1970s and the 1980s. He is a former tag team champion. I do know he influenced a lot of wrestlers today. I believe including TJP, uh, TJ Perkins from 205 Live. I believe he is in a wheelchair or was in a wheelchair from an injury sustained to his leg most likely from professional wrestling i'm assuming and i know he's had heart problems i believe he's even had a stroke it, it sucks so rest in peace to the night of my kid and my condolences are with his friends the family and of course the fans uh thank you down my kid for all you did for this business us fans really appreciate it on a more Positive news, a uh, positive thing I want to talk about. Can you guess? Fickle, fickle, fickle. Heel Daniel Bryan is crushing it every week. Every Since he turned heel, what, two, three weeks ago, he is killing it. I absolutely adore him as a heel. I'm glad he's WWE Champion. I honestly had mixed reactions to him winning the title. I, I thought AJ was going to break Punk's modern day record. I don't count Brock Lesnar as doing it. That's a total, totally different championship to begin with. But I thought Brian was going to, I mean, AJ was going to hold the title to at least the Royal Rumble. But Brian won. And now he's a heel. And he is absolutely doing some of the best work in his career, in my opinion. I do hope The Miz beats him at some point for the title because I'm a huge Miz fit. And I hope it's at WrestleMania because, you know, I think Miz is great as well. Miz is one of my favorites, but anyway, talking about Daniel Bryan again, the last night on SmackDown, he, he was so hilarious, man. He insulted the crowd for destroying our planet. After, like, a Miz TV segment. That was a great Miz TV segment. And he, he was complaining to the fans how they use plastic water bottles and GMOs and uh, modern factory, factory farming or whatever. And 
it was so good. It was so good. I'm really loving what Daniel Bryan is doing. In my opinion, it's the highlight of the week as far as WWE is concerned. I I don't really watch Raw, honestly. I I, I can't really... I, I don't know, man. It's just not for me right now. I do keep up with it. I do watch YouTube clips. I'm going to get comfortable real quick. Probably looked a little weird, but I warn, I, I warn you guys ahead of time, so deal with it. But I don't really watch Raw except for, like, no DQ videos or what culture or Deluxe Man or just, you know, like I said, the YouTube clips. I do know what's going on, though, but apparently a lot of you don't either because the ratings are really down this week. Or, well, actually, they have been down. And who can blame you guys? I mean, I... Raw is just not doing that well. I'm not that entertained by it. SmackDown is doing great. NXT is doing great. 205 Live has great wrestling too. I I, I hope Raw gets better, but until it does, I have no interest in really watching it. I'll just keep up with the YouTube clips and whatever. But anyway, Dana Bryan, two huge thumbs up for what he's doing. The reason I made this video. I am... Probably the biggest professional wrestling fan I know personally, like in my everyday life. And the thing is, not a lot of people around me are huge about it. I I do have friends that do watch pro wrestling, uh, but they don't really have the excitement that I do. So hopefully by making this YouTube channel, I can get some viewers and people commenting below and messaging me and we can talk about pro wrestling together. I love talking about this. Every single day, I consume something pro wrestling related. I am mostly a WWE fan. I don't really watch anything else. I occasionally will watch a Ring of Honor clip here and there. TNA, I don't really keep up with. The last thing I know that happened was the Austin Aries walkout thing that happened. I don't even know if he's employed by the company. I haven't even followed up on it because I don't have that much interest in what they're doing. But TNA, from like 2009 to like 2012 and 2013... Awesome stuff. Bobby Roode's heel world title run was so good. Austin Aries as X Division champion, uh, winning the uh, heavyweight title from Bobby Roode. I love that. And of course, the older TNA stuff from like 05, 06, 07, you know, when Christian was there and everything was going on. I, I do really like that time period as well. But anyway, enough about TNA or Impact Wrestling or GFW, whatever it's called now. I am a huge WWE fan, so expect mostly WWE videos. I plan on uploading videos anywhere from one day a week to maybe four. It kind of depends on my work schedule and just how free I am. But at least once a week, you will get a video from me. That's a promise. And a little fun fact, in 2019, at some point 2019, I plan on training to become a professional wrestler. I already have the training school in mind. Uh, it's, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I, you know what? I'll make this a bet. When I get a hundred subscribers, if anybody brings this video up, I will tell you what school I will be training at. I will give you a hint. It is run or be it's ran by a former, well, a current WWE hall of famer and a former tag team champion. I'm not going to tell you what state or anything else, but that's your hint. And I'm really excited. I've always wanted to do professional wrestling as a career, or at least one of my careers. And the fact that I can make this a reality, man, it, it's so overwhelming, but so exciting at the same time. So now I'm bulking up, or I'm training. Uh, I am studying to become a personal trainer as well. Fitness is a huge part of my life. Uh, music is a huge part of my life. I have so many interests, man, and over time you will get to learn more about me. And if you have any questions, I'm I'm not an open book, but at the same time, I kind of am. It just depends. So, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them my way, man. But anyway, like I said, pro wrestling, I, I can't get enough of it. And I'm not one of the types of people that ask you so, to subscribe, but if you do ahead of time, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Like I said, please comment below anything pro wrestling related that you want to talk about. I am more than happy to have a full conversation with you, lasting hours talking about the sport, um, particularly WWE. But, you know, I might get some hate for mainly only watching WWE, but I don't really have a way to watch New Japan or Ring of Honor right now. I, I could get the app, I guess, but I, I don't really have I don't have cable, so I don't watch cable TV. And I don't really feel like paying money other than the WWE Network to watch this stuff. Or maybe I will. I don't know. If it's something you guys would like to see, 
I will. But anyway, I'm going to end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really do appreciate it. A lot of passion brought into this channel. Peace out, guys, and I will talk to you soon, hopefully.